Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna take a look at one of the most powerful snap style rodent traps that I've ever seen. This is the Coro. I purchased this from Wildlife Control Supplies and it's designed to take care of larger rodent pests such as squirrels and rats. It has a stout metal frame, a kill bar up front that's attached to a really strong spring, a trigger pad that has a place for bait and a little hole. And when it's set, this lever comes over, fits into that hole, and there's a safety catch. There's also a cable attached to this trap. I've had problems with catching rodents and predators and scavengers come along and steal my trap and rodent. Now I'll show you how to set this. First you want to pull the lever back. Here's the spring. Now this is hard to do one-handed, but you pull that up. You want to keep fingers clear of this because if that came down, that would break your finger. I'm going to use two hands, pull this back, flip the lever around, put on that safety while I can. Then what you have to do is you put the end of the lever into the hole on the trigger pad. Now that lever sticks through the hole quite a bit. To make it a hair trigger, we'll push that down closer to the end. But that's what's keeping up this kill bar with that powerful spring. We're going to set it here like this. You'll put bait on the trigger. The way it works is an animal is going to come along, want to get the bait, put its feet on this pad. Before I show you this, you have to remember to take the safety catch off. It will step on that pad. That kill bar comes down and it will hold it in place and should instantly kill it. That's a very powerful spring. Now my biggest concern is I'm going to try to catch some rats in a chicken coop. I also have some ground squirrels in the barn that are chewing on wires. Now I want to make sure the chickens are safe so what I'm going to do is build a box with a clear window. And what that does is allows the animal only to enter from the front. They can't enter from the side which still might work or the back which would not work. So here's the box I built. It has a clear window in the front so we can see what's going on. We're gonna put the trap in here all set. Nothing can enter but from the front, step on the pad and get caught. Now these rats have been eluding me. They've been really smart. They didn't go for the A24 CO2 powered rat trap or the Tai Long spring snare trap. I found the Norway rats in my area are really cautious and trap shy. They're smart. The wood rats are easy to catch. The Norway rats are not. I'm hoping the core row snap trap will do the job. So we're gonna go set this up in the chicken coop, see if we can get them. This coral snap trap's incredibly powerful and it works well on large rodent pests such as squirrels. Now I can't show that footage on my public YouTube channel. If you want to see this trap in action on the squirrel, you'll have to click the link in the description box. Now you might be wondering why I don't have any dead rats here. Those Norway rats are so smart. This is going to be an ongoing saga. I'm going to get those rats one way or another. That will be a future video and it's not the trap's fault. Those are just really smart rats. And just on a side note, when I was setting up this trap for the squirrel, I didn't put the safety latch on. It wasn't up all the way, but it slipped and came down on my thumb. So for about the next five or six months, I'm going to have a purple thumbnail. If you wonder what happened, it's this trap came down. It's so powerful with that spring, and you got to be careful with these snap traps. So stay tuned. We'll find a way to get those really smart rats in the chicken coop, 
And if you want to see this trap in action, the footage I had to edit out of this public video, click the link in the description below.